Hello all, welcome back to Train of Thought. Uh, or my name is Trey, and this is where I share my thoughts on the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, so, um, for the first time back after the holiday break, um, hope everyone had a good Christmas slash uh, Boxing Day if you're in Canada. Um, I, I had a good Christmas. I got my my new Jets hat here. I also got shirts. Um, got some nice uh, Jet sweatpants now that. Um, I'm not wearing a price I should have planned better for the game tonight, but they got a little um, dirty build in gingerbread houses uh, during Christmas, and I haven't had a chance to wash them yet. Um, but uh, on from that, the the, the Jets um, started off the um, post-Christmas schedule with a, a pretty tough contest. Uh, their first look this season at the St. Louis Blues. Uh, the first of a home-and-home -home, um, series and because um, they play them on Sunday afternoon and the first of four meetings overall this year. So an entertaining contest, a back-and-forth contest. Um, I don't know, kind of a lot to digest in, in this one. Uh, the final score was 5-4 to four in, in overtime and the game literally went Blue score, jet score, blue score, jet score, blue score, jet score, and until it was five to four. You know, it was one nothing blues, one one, two one blues, you know, two two, three two blues, you know, four three blues, and then um, five four in overtime. So, um, breaking it down on the positive side, um, Kyle Connor had two goals to tonight. Uh, the the first goal that he had was. Um, awesome uh he uh got a um uh, or patrick line did uh, a whole lot of dangling and stuff then made, made a pass to bull you who found connor who connor with his awesome hands just flipped it over jordan bennington's uh shoulder um and then the second goal uh, mark shifley had a hard drive to the net looked like he got it in and and he uh was robbed by Bennington, but the puck was sitting there, and Connor had an easy tap in. Um, so that was good. Uh, Gabriel Bork scored the the first goal of the game. A nice rush by Adam Lowry and um, Mason Appleton to create a rebound opportunity that went right to to Bork, who was able to bang it home. Um, and then Blake Wheeler, uh, he tied the game. Uh, at 4-4 four, four, with a minute and 14 left the the Jets were on on a six on on five um Wheeler caught a, a great pass and and buried it um to tie the game so the, the you, know, you know with this you know point for going to overtime system there's some games where you're like man I'm glad that we got, I got a point out of this game and then there's games where you're like, man, I wish we would have gotten two points all this game. I kind of feel in the the middle um, of this, even though there's not really a middle area, because um, the the Jets put themselves in a position to to win. Uh, had a lot of great scoring opportunities. They were resilient. They were resilient. Um, they stayed in the fight, as Paul Maurice likes to say, to continue to come back and tie the game and tie the game and tie the game and, and not, um, you know, let the momentum swings kill them. I know when, when they tied it at three, uh, it was a um, great power play goal and the Jets had the momentum, the, the place was rocking, and then not long later, the, the Blues got the lead back. Um, but they they stuck with it. So um, that was great. At the same time, they also put themselves in positions to, to lose. Uh, when they made mistakes, it, it killed them. Um, Connor Hellebuck stopped 30 out of the 35 shots that he saw tonight. And three of them were, dare I say, soft goals, which he doesn't give up very often. Um, and you know, he made the saves when he had to, 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 to keep the, the Jets in the game. But the, the, those three goals, it's like one kind of squeezed between his legs. Uh, one, it lo lo looked like he didn't squeeze again against the, the post 
enough and, and it went past him there or through him. Um, so just things like that. And then also the, the last goal, the game winning goal in overtime, there was a neutral zone, um, turnover by Mark Shifley. I mean, it wasn't like a, oh my gosh, that's a terrible turnover, but it, it, it led to, uh, a, a breakaway and the game winning goal. Um, so, uh, it was a, it was a physical game. I, you know, I, I bet that there's people talking about missed calls by by the the officials that that went against the Jets. I mean, that's gonna happen. Um, and it it's a Central Division game. It's two teams, even though they haven't played each other this year, they don't like each other because they're in the same division. They they had a hard fought playoff series uh, last spring, so uh, that's gonna still be fresh in people's minds, especially the Jets because they they got beat. Um, and the the Blues are good. I mean, they won the Stanley Cup last year. They're they're one of the best teams in the the league this year. They're they're leading in the Central Division, which is, you know, got to be if not the the toughest division in hockey, one of the the toughest divisions. So, you know that that is what it is. Uh, so it, I, I'm glad that the Jets at least got got a point out of it. It is a little bit of a bummer that they didn't get to. Seems like the Blues are always playing overtime. I think they're six and six now uh, in overtime slash shootout. But man, it seems like they're in overtime all the time. I think I saw they're zero and three in the shootout. So I was kind of hoping that they would get to the shootout because, man, it seems like you know I'm, I'm seeing highlights. So here's another OT winner by the St. Louis Blues, and so it's like, you know, go out and score Jets in overtime. Um, they had some glorious opportunities. I know um, Wheeler shut up, uh, set up uh, Neil Pionk with a great one-time opportunity, and, and he blasted it and got robbed um, kind of at point-blank range. Um, but I was kind of hoping that they would get to, to the shootout and be able to take it from there. But we, we got Sunday. Um, we got three more meetings with these guys, and I'm glad that they, they, they got a point to, even though season's not even halfway over, to kind of keep that uh, that playoff positioning. Um, Jets have 45 points now. They're 21-14-3, and, and they currently sit third in the division. One point ahead of the Dallas Stars. Um, so what do you guys think, think of the game? Uh, did, did the Jets look rusty to you coming out, or did Hellebuck look, look, look rusty? Um are you happy with the point? Are, are you feeling greedy? We're wishing that they would have gotten more. Um, yeah. Uh, so I want to know that. And then also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If, if you really liked it, uh, please hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon.